Hi, Ninja Bix. Ninja Master Nick here. And today, I'm going to be doing all the Ninjago Dragon's Rising. And I do how to set building review. And this time, I'm going to be doing the, that one of the new sets called Dragon Shrine, Stone Shrine. In which I got in my Ninjago hunting video, along with Young Dragon Wire, which I got. How to, and also did the building review new video for which you can watch here on the channel. And the set number for the set is 71819. It comes with six mini figures, which is five good guys and one bad guy. And Master Void, which I think he. He's going to be officially taking the, the title of Master in this upcoming season based on what they're uh, calling him in the set here. Plus the robe he's wearing, Nia, yeah, who has her steel hound, I mean her island hairstyle, Kai, has the same thing, Master Wu. Who's Raisha, who showed up in the first season of Dragon's Rising in the Cloud Kingdom as one of the you know, monks who are doing in the uh, Writing of Destiny and World Wars, who's going to be the main bad guy of the uh, second season of Dragon's Rising, and who's going to lead the uh, the uh, Wolf Mask Warrior guys. This is that 1,212 pieces. You can see the uh, set is completely the yeah, shape of a dragon, hence the name. We got Kai here and uh, Igolet, the Master Dragon. And you can see the background here, it kind of looks like the uh, place that Udre they invented Kung Fu from the, in the very first Kung Fu here, Panda movie. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me a little bit. Here we got Kai and Karma Kai on the side of the box here. And here's the uh, the yeah, back of the set, which you can then have a ninja yeah, just hang on and chillax with in. You also got some yeah, play features here for how the set. And if you enjoyed today's Ninja Doll Dragon's Rising Season 2 here building review here video, make sure to give this video a like and comment. And if you're new to the channel, press the red subscribe button and turn the notification bell so that you will be notified when a new Ninja Dragon video is up to the channel. And now let's open up the box and see what comes, comes inside. Here we got bag number six. Bag number one. Bag number ten. Bag number eight.
bag number four. Bag number two. Bag number seven. Bag number five. Bag number three. And finally for the bags. Hey, bag number nine. Now let's take the construction book out. Hey, Dada, how small has sticker sheet. And finally, for the entire set in whole, we have one big Lego instruction book. And this is for these two little boxes, one little box for instruction book, and, and this big box. Now we're going to do the time marks and build the set. Then come back and do the uh, review. And I will see you guys right after the time marks. And enjoy the build. And I'm back. It took a few days because it took some breaks and I now finished his the uh, Dragon Stone Shrine. I was also going to start with uh, me videos. Then the uh, uh, main build itself, since it has no side builds. And now it's going into a review. And first off, we got Lord Was, who is going to return for Hell Dragons Rising Season 2. Here, which at uh, the time of me recording this, I checked Netflix earlier. It is coming on 
on Thursday. And I'm going to leave uh, reactions into how to have a new tables. Here's from my game room here, which you'll see in the vlog video. Here over on my second channel once I finish the vlog and opening it. Then got to reveal here. The Lord was has is that same head as he did in and the first season, and sets. He makes that entirely new the outfit here, which is no longer the Imperium clothing, is the Wolf Mask Clan hand clothing with shoulder armor and purple hands with some blue printing on and fans with Sweden and some parts of the her body. And he's got this big ice right here, here which, if you guys remember, back in the first season, he had a, a hammer. And still going through the first season in reviews. And next, we got Master Lloyd here, here which is the, a slightly different Lloyd. Even before, but he's got a similar uh, ninja of uh, island hairpiece. He's with the uh, head banner, and he's got some golden uh, shoulder pads like Okori does in the uh, Infinity Soda sets. And he's got his little ninja movie sword on these two bound pieces as a staff, with this little chain thing on the bottom. And he's got a uh, uh, store here, which I think is for the uh, uh, Rising Dragon set, da da da, which I think it shows how to do uh, the Rising Dragons, and it's to defeat the uh, uh, Forbidden Five in, in the second season, I think. And he's got some pretty on his torso and legs. And he's got a dragon symbol on the back of his his shirt right there. And next we got Nia here, which is the same Nia from her first season sets. Only this time she's got her the island here piece with the her head banner that goes up and makes her a little ponytail. And she's got two daggers right here. Now on these little dragon blades. And she's got two golden katanas. I forgot to mention. And it was kind of. Hey, Lloyd has his way down in Jordan movie. Mad and Happy Faces. This which is the same for her every single Lloyd May figure since the later in Jordan movie. And here's that her happy face under the mask. I have Dryden's Rising. Hey Mad Face that looks like you know, her Prime Empire Mad Face. And next we got Kai here, who's basically the same Kai from the first season in Wave of Dragon's Rising in, in Lego sets. This time with his the Island head banner uh, hairpiece with his little data type of thing. And with the, a light orange transparent piece in the middle with his two golden katanas. In his way down in the movie, Happy Face under the half mask. In his Dragon's Rising, a mad face that looks like Prime Empire, a mad face. And 
And that's we got a new me me figure here. He was Raisha, that who showed up in the first season of Dragons Rising. And she's the a new and current her elemental master when since her mole who doesn't have any descendants since he became those who went to the cursed and departed realms. And she's got her, her black hair and that goes up into a little you know, type of you know, bun type of hair. Which, which kind of looks like a series here, piece from the MCU sets. And she's got this little stuff here. Yeah, maybe she's going to be a one of a new ninja in the second season here. Or something. Hey, I'm just guessing here. And she's got her Cloud Kingdom and clothes on with the, the light blue her overshirt. And white sleeves and uh, white underpants. Well, underneath the her robe thing. She's got her happy face. And her other happy face with her mouth open and eyes closed. And you can switch out her headpiece for her hood. In which people are clunking them. And where? And finally, we got Master Wu, who is in his new clothing for the uh, second season, and Dragon's Rising, and Set Wave, with his golden stuff with two, her double head dragon, and golden blades. With his golden and top part, and he doesn't have a sudden face and face since he's just as well as his heart right here, and his his usual white beard right here, yeah, who hasn't shot up in the first season, and only as in for a flashback and as the a uh, golden kind of looking ghost that appears here and there uh, to help out the uh, uh, ninja. And that's it for the uh, uh, mini figures. And now let's move on to the uh, Dragon Stone Shrine, which is <laughs> looking pretty cool. And you can see the uh, claws of the uh, uh, dragon. And, and you can see in the head, right, right in the mouth of the dragon here, is got a little waterfall that goes into a little pond. You got uh, some transparent studs to make it look like the, the waterfall is splashing into the water below. You got some pieces right there for the music to, to stand on while we are training. In there, or fighting what was, and we got had this giant tree right here with some pink leaves, which kind of like the peach tree from Hong Kong Fu Panda. And you can see Ava has stone head, has some eyes, and here's the Inside of the shrine, we got some teacups here and a teapot. Okay, because we all we all know that Master Wu likes to drink tea. We got a little poster where they have some kind of temple, which kind of looks like the yeah, Dragon Energy Core Cave, and the temple, I mean, and from the first season. And also some seats right here. And our other uh, little poster type of thing which shows the uh, shrine. Uh, which is probably uh, uh, showing how to do that uh, up right the uh, dragon and rising thing. Yeah. 
and got this right here, the a leg of the stone dragon, which you can move a little bit. Everything which is one of the uh, play features of how to set. And the other play features you can uh, move this has left to right. Hey to make it look like hey the what right that is bounce uh other lock. It's uh like a, a little Hello, uh, talk back to Ninjago Season 3 rebooted when Fred Domadon is teaching Lloyd how to move rocks. And then, if we look closely, you know, some of these pieces have little, little toy high type of fish as in the water water hair. Yeah, which was very cool. And that's about it for today's Here's Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 2 Building Review. Yeah, and like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell if you're new. And more videos will be coming to the channel soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Our Ninja Master Net.